CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable multicast over RTSP streaming using an Ava Eye security camera. So first, you need to navigate to the IP address for your camera. In my case, I'm just using the default 192.168.1.109 and hitting enter on my keyboard. It's going to take me to the camera interface. I need to log in using the admin username and password that's found on a label on my camera's box. And after I've entered in that information, I can click the login button or press enter on my keyboard. So it's logged me into the web interface. I can see the camera stream. Now, in order to enable multicast RTSP streaming, I need to go to the setup tab. I need to go into the video and audio tab within the settings. I need to go to the media stream tab. And then in the media stream tab, I need to go to the second tab, which is the RTSP multicast address. So after you enable the multicast address within this page, the camera will automatically enable RTSP multicast streaming. So when you click on the multicast address field, it gives you the suggested or recommended IP address range, and you can essentially choose anything within that range. So for example, I'm just going to do a simple 239.50.50.50. Then you can give it pretty much any port other than I would say port 80 or the media port that the camera uses, which is usually port 8000 or 9000. So I'm just going to give it a port 270. For the substream multicast address, you can repeat your mainstream address and then you will want to give it a different port number. So that way your mainstream and your substream ports are not overlapping. So again, you want to create a multicast address between this range of IP addresses that the web interface shows. And then you can repeat that multicast address for substream. However, you're going to want to give each the mainstream and substream a unique port. After you've done this, you're going to want to click the save button. And as I mentioned, entering this information will automatically enable RTSP multicast. In order to test that, you will need to create the URL string or your URL to view the stream. And then you'll need to use a software such as VLC Media Player, as I already have installed on my computer, or another type of software called Pot Player. So I'm going to pull up the URLs where you can find these softwares on the web here. So www.videoland.org will find the VLC media player and potplayer.dom.net will allow you to download the pot player. Now with pot player, you don't have to do anything. You simply copy and paste your string into the player and hit enter and then it will play. For VLC media player, you do need to enable a setting within VLC media player to force it to be able to view multicast streams from an avid eye camera. So here is the multicast URL. On the top, I have an example. You're going to want to substitute the username for your username, the password for the password that's set for the admin user, and then substitute the camera IP with the current IP address for your camera. It's important to note that this is not the multicast IP address that you set. This is the camera's actual IP address within your local network. So again, you're not using the multicast IP address. You're using the camera's real IP address on the network. And then you're going to append it with media and then a video one or video two for the substream. So again, video one is your mainstream. If you wanted to do the substream, you would switch this from video one to video two. But I'm going to leave it on video one. And then last but not least, it would be forward slash multicast. So you'd want to make your string URL. You could use a, a, the notepad software or simply write it directly into VLC media player. I'm going to open up VLC Media Player. I have highlighted and copied this using my keyboard, or you can right click it and click copy. And then you can click on the media, open network stream, and paste it within here, or simply do control V within VLC Media Player, and it will automatically open the URL interface. However, as I mentioned, there is a setting that I need to enable before I'm able to view the stream. So if I were to click play before enabling that setting, I'm going to get a buffering bar that's just bouncing back and forth. So I'm going to stop this stream. 
go into the tools option within VLC media player and then open the preferences. I then need to go to the input and codex tab and then at the bottom there will be live 555 stream transport. I need to switch it from the default HTTP setting to the RTP over RTSP in parentheses TCP setting. So I'm going to click that, click save, then I can control V the stream back in or again go to the media menu and then go to open network stream right click and paste my stream in there so now when I click play after enabling that setting I'm going to get a, to get a short buffer and then it's actually going to pull up the video from my camera so this is a multicast stream from my camera over my local network this multicast stream is going to save bandwidth by divvying up the data to multiple IP addresses. So let's say if I wanted to view this multicast stream from multiple computers within my network, instead of each computer having to make its own connection to the camera, the camera is sending multiple streams out and any computer will be able to tap into that same stream without creating a brand new stream each time. Hopefully this video helps you set up a multicast stream on your Ava Eye security camera. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.